blessed with the mighty Atlantic Ocean, fertile agricultural lands, and a strategic geographic location that gives an opportunity for a lot of people to explore and get into the business. Gunjur and the Gambia at large has experienced uh, numerous uh, shutdowns when it comes to economy, and especially this COVID time. Please join us as we embark on a journey where we explore different areas of our business sector, from agriculture, fisheries, and small business enterprises. Gunjur business is in short called Gunjur Biz. This will be a platform that we will use to explore different business opportunities, especially for young people. We'll bring you on Gunjul Online all the business topics that is related to financing, operations, marketing. And we will use this platform to invite experts from different sectors of the gambling economy and give tips and have a broader analysis of the general business sector. This will give us an opportunity to be able to discuss in a broader detail how businesses are affected when it comes to our environment, our natural resources being exploited by other people, but also how we can tap into the opportunities and also access capital, which is very crucial for the success of the businesses. But not only that, we won't stop at accessing capital, now what else we're going to do is about the little operational processes that are needed in our business culture to build up cultures that's going to be successful. And that's going to be most importantly what it's going to be sustainable for the success of the business. So we can transfer wealth. We can also transfer skills from one person to another to be able to live in a community that is thriving, a community that businesses, private sector, individual businesses, no job, entrepreneurship, and reward them. So please join me every week on Google Online as we delve into all these areas of discussions when it comes to business success. This is your host of the part of Google Online. Thank you for joining us. Hey folks, um, welcome to Gunjur News Online. This is going to be a quick preview here um, on our upcoming Gunjur Biz show that's going to be live on Gunjur Online every Saturday. And um, I hope um, you all going to have a good time with us to start this um, um, in the middle of the year. I know it's been a crazy year and um, we all have seen what the world has um, turned um, abnormalities to normal uh, to normal stuff, and there's no better time to engage folks who are on the ground, especially in the Gambia, to um, see what we can do together and how we can impact it, um, in, in how we can make positive impacts in each other's lives, and that starts from us, the young people. So could you, this is going to be a quick um, preview. We will have um, our proper median show starting Saturday, this coming Saturday, and um, every other Saturday it is going to be a continuous process. It's going to be a continuous program where we invite a lot of people from different areas of our economy, um, from local businesses back in Gunjur and in Gambia and across the world to experts who are specialized in different areas of business spectrum. And it's going to be important, and, but most importantly, it will be more of an interactive session where we don't just come and tell you stuff, but you, we invite you to come and tell us what's going on and what do you think we can do together to be bigger and to be more successful how we can try to see different businesses that are operational, um, but they are not operating, or how we can help businesses that are struggling, especially local businesses that are struggling to make it work for them. You know, this will give us those kind of opportunities. So send us your comments, your uh, questions, your suggestions, and different topics that you want us to 
cover once you send those information we'll be able to look into different areas of specialities from different you know people that we can invite and we can have an interesting topic discussing those things because what i think a lot of our young people um, that they are not getting is the mentorship in whatever they're doing a lot of us will just have a little bit of capital and be like okay xyz is doing this kind of business so i'm gonna venture into it you don't even do any little bit of this you know research or fact findings on how viable that business could be and you don't probably don't know the formula of success for that business based on the person someone that you've seen has done it probably got some expertise in that area or probably got some edge over a lot of people that makes it successful for them so finding that level of mentorship or that kind of mentorship on someone that sorry be already been there or has an expertise on a particular business helps a lot that we should build up that kind of a culture where you know we can um, talk to folks who've done certain things in their lives and they have an expertise or an experience in those areas those are things that we will definitely um, get into uh, we will also look into our, uh, some successful business people, either from Gunjul, from Gambia, or across the world, to come and share with us um, their wisdom. You know, the, you know, challenges that a lot of, um, especially startups, um, face is during their business um, life. Oftentimes, we just see people get into business one, two, three months, um, a year down the line, they have to get out of business or they cannot sustain it. We always struggle with sustainability. We always struggle with cutting down on our operational cost to make sure that we get not only maximize um, our profits, but we make it sustainable and we're able to create more jobs for other people. And oftentimes we also see a lot of people, and so many people, you know, being so successful at something, but they kind of sit back and feel so comfortable disregarding the competition that is coming with innovation, that is coming with technology, that is coming with the changes that are rapidly happening in the world. We have to be able to engage folks that are into business to think outside the box, to understand that they have to you know, keep on improving or they have to keep on innovating on their existing services or products that they offer to the market so that it stays relevant, so that the demand stays in there or increases to another level. But if I have just this, orange here and i'm selling this type of orange every year every time same thing you probably will see someone who comes with same orange for sale but they probably would package it better and that's gonna eat into a market so there are a lot of little things that we need to look into if we are in a business and these are some of the things that we will look into the innovation never stops. If you are a business person, you go to work, but part of your night you spend it thinking on how can I do this better? Only when you do that, when you keep challenging yourself on how you can improve on what you already been doing, that's the only time you're going to stay on top of the water. And those and many we will definitely look into. We will you know, open a channel where we can interact directly with people that are also thinking of getting into business because some of us would not even realize that we're good at something. But once we get into it and we challenge ourselves, we realize that we got some inner potentials that needs to be, you know, looked into that we need to work on. We often times seen a bunch of us, you know, hanging over a tire and talking about ideas, great ideas. It's always hard to start them. You know, we tend to talk more about stuff, but implementing those ideas becomes 
very challenging. Um, the next minute we just sit and like, oh, I've been talking about this business idea, but somebody is right there doing it. So whatever you're thinking of today, know that somebody probably has been thinking of it like two years ago, but everyone sits back. So we will use this program to trigger folks that's been dreaming about stuff and help them bring those dreams to reality. And by that, I mean, you know, we will come up with tips, you know, having um, guests that will be inviting on this show to talk about things that we can do that would not probably require a lot of capital to start them. And some we don't even realize our manpower could be our best tool at some point, especially when you are a local person who lives in Gunjur or somewhere in Gambia. Um, you can start something. It's only most of the time when people see you do something serious at it, wake up early morning and treat it like a real business. That's when you, that's the best the selling point for any investor to invest in you. You can't tell me to invest on you if you're not investing on yourself. If you're not getting up every morning and try to do things that are relevant to achieving that goal, you don't just sit there and like, hey, Abubakar, I want you to buy me a car. <laughs> like, I want to do a taxi or I want to do this. And you're not putting any effort to realize that. That's going to be hard to be able to convince anyone to do that. And all these things going to be more interactive. We will have folks, young business people and more successful business people that's been in operation for so many years and the le lessons that they learned along the way because most of these people probably, almost 99% of them actually failed, picked themselves up and just start again. And they never give up. They just use all that as a learning curve along the line to make sure that, you know, they live up to their potentials, you know, bring in talents that you need to make that business work for you. And um, in addition to that, we look at different areas of our economy, different areas of our natural resources from the beach where, you know, we have an ample opportunity untapped when it comes to entertainment and when it comes to hospitality, but most importantly, when it comes to production, you know, I seen so many of natural resources from things like Sicily Nyamo in Mandinka and Borbor in Wolof, um, to mangoes and to oranges, like different, different things that we have that if you go to other countries, you spend fortune to get them because these are organic stuff that are natural and we tend to overlook not, you know, leaving them, but we just consume them without, you know, making it a production that is focused on export or commercial that people can come and buy it at a price worth the quality and you know, modernize it, package them, and make them a year-round stuff. Like, we can have seasonal things, but a lot of natural resources that we have are enough to make them a whole year-round. It doesn't have to be seasonal, like mangoes. If you have a mango during rainy season, we should be able to enjoy mangoes the whole year-round because we can dry them, we can, you know, uh, package them in a way that it can stay for the rest of the year. Go down to oranges, um, different things, fish, um, our livestock. Right? People just wait until it is Tabaski time and go and buy a sheep for like 20, 25, 30,000 dalasi just for one day, right? Why not people can think and just get into that kind of business where they have you know, a, a, a lot of livestock that they can sell at a cheaper price, but still make enough profit out of it. People should not only enjoy, you know, subor kind of or meat or beef or lamb for Tabasco. It can be just a business that's just affordable for the people out there. 
And these are things that we'll get into to try to show people how they can do certain things that are available to them. And once you're serious at it, you modernize it, you package it well, you know your target market, you make the right connection. You know, you have a lot of hotels, restaurants, even if there's no restaurant, you can try to establish one that focuses more on local produce. If you go to different parts of the world, for instance, Asia, like you go to the smallest city in Asia, you realize how they take pride of locally made products, how people just, you can go to a city and they'll be like, every city has something that is really popular. They can go there and like, if I travel to this city, once I visited that city, I'm not going to go back until I'm able to taste or have a taste of this particular food or drink. These are things that we need to um, look at. And we will look into those and we will try to engage our local officials, especially the, um, the elected ones, like the alcalos, the councilor. Hey, Monchar, if you are watching, I'll reach out to you so we can have all you folks out here. My uncle um, KKB, if you're watching, we will come out for you and just invite you here so we can discuss all these issues that are of common interest to us and our communities so that we can see what are the rules and regulations, what are the things that are put in place that supports entrepreneurship, that supports young businesses, that supports young people, that supports businesses that are providing employment for our young people, for our locals? And what are the policies in place that we can use? How we can collaborate with these local, ele local elected officials to give us access to places where we can do things like LUMO in a modern way, or before we, you have to travel to Serekuna and do things. My mom used to go for my mom used to sell, I mean, uh, um, vegetables, like down in Serekuna, wakes up early morning, like 3 a.m., 4 a.m. when I was younger, you know, you know, struggle getting to the um, bus and they just have to go and sell tomatoes. And sometimes they just go one, two, three, it's sold, and they have to go back to the village and probably that, Tomato is rotten because they have no facilities where they can keep those things in there. So that's that's the inspiration that I got from my mom growing up, paying for my school fees and giving me lunch to go to school. And she got all that from a gardening or, you know, there are a bunch of you know, wells that were dark and people draw water from it and just pour it and grow all these vegetables and sell it. Just imagine if that's been revived and being modernized in a way that they don't have to go and look for customers, but customers can have a one spot to stop shop where they can come and buy those things from us. So Monchal, I will definitely challenge you and I will engage you with the MP to see how we can work together to um, identify a place where we can mobilize businesses in Kunjur that um, we can have probably a daily or a weekly market where everyone can just come with their mobile, you know, desk where they can display their fruits. Some who grow bananas can bring it. Some who grow, I mean, makes tea or something. Uh, depending on the season, they can bring it. People can travel across the country to come and buy that. That is vital. We have a plan for that, and we want to um, um, uh, we want to put that up so anyone who is interested can engage us in so that people can have a bigger market where we can come together and people can come and do their weekly shopping as well. And that will be crucial because we cannot do most of this, these things without our politicians. So we will have a constructive dialogue with them and try to see what we can do better. We will invite them here and we can discuss about things when it comes to taxation, when it comes to duties, when it comes to business registrations, when it comes to incentives that they can give to people who wants to get into the business. And that is crucial. 
And those are all the things that we're going to talk about. So I'll just quickly wrap this up in Mandinka. But in all, um, I'll, you know, uh, Nimugunju online um, uh, uh, business show, let me have a Gunju piece. Well, I'm going to come back and try to come back to come back and come back and come Business all minu be gunjur, mol minu alon kwe ka doko keje, and minu alon kwe be gandia, be gandia e bantala, e ka mum business leke, se mako e no nyadi le nise kachano, es na na nyur platform auto ya, nye diamu, nye kachano kuol jibe, be na sade nye ye wandi la nyame. Nye gunjur jibe, gunjur waradale bari, bank fangot e gunjur, ninko do bebu li lafta ka min safe, it alon neba mabo la dami. Yu ide ya mabo la bunko no, mi alon ko wo is risky, and kusa ke noa lale. Wale eta brikama, o eta sere kunda, o eta banjul puru kake. Wato si dale puru gunjul nko lfana si si no nyami, e kacha, ta jive ko, hana abe ke la community bank le di. Nga mira, mo jamal be gunjul le, mi ni alon ko ye wolon dol soto. Mo jamal be gunjul mi ni alon ko, ye o no, ya skill soto, ya alon yi kake nyami. Mujamal be gunjur mi ni alonko ya karamo soto. Mujamal be gunjur mi ni alonko ise doku oke no wo dula. But for sade mols na nyoka. Abe du teke la politiko da mada. Abe du teke la kudolti. But the business of ana from a business community soto mi alonko na wole set up ane sade kebalu ane sade funding kelo nga jibe ko kambi a fanga se bank gunjur se bank i fanga sum bank soto no. Isa call no nyau nyala gunjur credit union or gunjur development bank. Dia domain ini sudah kemas sudah kemas fulla, jadi ia mau je, mula akan tu dia lagi. Saat ini jelah begunjur dengan orang, kartun biji resi four biji, sana biji, I mean berending biji, um, um, fengke jamal, saat ini jamal biji minyalong ko, wal dia tu mu kena begunjur leto ku jamal lah. Jadi pinale tampil wala. So dalam fana ni antara business environment oye la la minyalong ko, nata mau tesia la bandar, mul kena na. But in dollar tasa dasa. Nye o jibe economically yaka makwele because nika nyin paso la dako lea minufo. Nye a jika complain paso la dako lea la wala yiko isanso dako lea atale. Ye haji o min soto ka taman di banda wala siyata. But nye ima haji jama stebe min taman di la banda drong. You know, akati na lela kodo nyin min katarebulu. Nika amuta no bakele. Nye la haji dol nate yeke o kono. So nyun no mku jama di minye alon komba jibe la minye adile. Na ba da la fengol minu bije business business. Area almi nube gunjur mi alon ko forninke lu, you know, keba lu, mo mo se dun no ye, you know, ye la, ye la family lu na fa, para kan ada woda male, se modo lfana fa o employ la, se family be du na fa, be du se buna fa nje. En be diamu la forninke lfana ya mini alon ko, ibe business okono, ya business olman tare jiri waga. Forninke almi nufana abe sula rim katara business okono, bari imale ba kumas la nyami, pina mo jama al samba la nyin, show nyin to, Kajibe ko ni be kacha la no nyadi le puri ye londo nyin janjan de mol kan. Mol salon be nyo mako le nyadi le mbina la nyo ka nyadi le puri nse nyo mako ye. Katum tenga mimi belief wolo mnyinti ko. Kafu ko fanku mfanku ngo. Nto la society ima mfanku mfanku ngo lo. Tupabu la jama fanku mfanku ngo lo. Right? Ite emi nkete kumkili ngo. Ike recognize wole la. Bari nto la banko on na saate wol. Ibe situation wol to mi alon ko. Nto la mfanku mfanku ngo lo. Ato bijele bari, mbe ka sabadi nyo kane ko family kile ngon. So kaje ko ite mari, ite successful tale kile. Bari, modo ulmi nubi edende ngola wulman successful, nite ma jibe ko womu nyato taati. Nyato taam nyinna tiko, ite e nyato taasu do, bari mulmi nubi edende ngola ila family molu, ila friend olu, ini mulmi nubi wata sade kile. Ini mulmi nye mira kile ngosu do, ise o londo nyi njanjan di nyo nyadi le. Wolondo nying ase mako yino ay la balu wanyi mbete yandi. Nyite kodo ste kodi jama asto, modo hol bijemi la balu wanyi mba mbete ya. Na mirefa na nyanta mira lo kela lako, ni ima mol so kodo la bari, esa atandi no mol la lako, wokodo nying ka kenyadi la. Wala wokodo nying se dung kunto mi alonko, mol be doku wo soto la je, wol fana la family nyye na la fa, because wole be ati na, na mental health fong be la fa la le, na jada kende ya nkinken ol la, andi na stress ol nyunu be talala la, because, Ni ita da male ka kuwa beke saate kono, mo suwa kono wala dimba ya kono wala kudol kono. Aka kole ale han ni mine bebulu puru ka afenke. Bari, nina londo janjanti dron, akodo janjanti moli ake, ino momo e mutadulasto mutadulasto, wala mkuti mi alon ka ajita mako e. Kute oe nyato la. Nina community nyin developta, ipa ajela woto fanabina mako e lale, 
Ibe kan wansu do lal. Because, wole beke la wadro di miya alon kontrol tan hafa wun. Hani politician wun. Lise si nou lan hafa ego. Listen. Nda lafta nyin ni nyin ni nyin ni nyin ni. Nga jibe vante ni te. Fo, nse dogo wo kento nyo lale. And, ase mako yin o nyamin. Pour kaje ko, ntol be tu. Um, Nse doku ke no nyo lale puru na mwol la fengko la bari ni te mi alon ko wato wati bulko so politisi anol da mano ka. Mbika fendu ndi no, mbika fendu do, ma independent, mbi tara si le ka komplen karma nyinke karma nyinke karma nyinke bari mbi te falindi roke la ho. Nse falindi roke no nyadi le ning, he invest on yourself, ye fengko develop, ye fengko topo do wati la mi alon ko, o politisi anol be la mwole. Bara abe kumas la ntole folo la. Fon se mfengko, Nse kuwa bamba ndinga business o nyingi community nyinga is strong. That mwol kanana nje, ikata haka business olke, ika kuwa olke. So, yinwa mkumala suti andika mala, bakata yu no, sibiti lungo, albe su nse join gunjul base, mba trial haka, nipitara na Facebook channel auto, but also abitara na YouTube channel auto. So, in recap, that was a mandinka, and I hope people can go and watch and just know what to expect. Uh, we will wrap it up here until we see you next Saturday and you have a blessed rest of your week. Thank you. Thank you.